I'm here with uh, UTC uh, cheerleader Robbie White. Uh, Robbie got to cast on your arm though. No competition this yeah, weekend, huh? Unfortunately not. Can't yeah. compete this week. That's too bad. Maybe, maybe next year then. Hopefully, that's what we're hoping for. Good, good, yeah. good. Um, how'd you get started in this whole cheer thing? Well, uh, I started cheerleading at the end of my senior year in high school in February, and honestly, I just wanted to just to hang out with some girls. <laughs> and uh, I noticed I was doing decent at it within the first week, so I thought I was going to give it a shot. So I started practicing more and more, and then I eventually started getting better. And then I thought it was okay to travel for UT Chattanooga, and it's my home now. Awesome, man. That's yeah. a good deal. Good deal. Now, would you do anything else beside that? Any other sports or anything? Well, previously, or prior to cheerleading, I, I played football. Mm -hmm. I played football since I was five all the way up until I was 18. Awesome. And then um, I started track and field whenever I was in seventh grade. And then I did track and field from seventh to eleventh, uh, seventh to eleventh grade. And I went to state two times for track and field. Well, shot put. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Now. Um, your team here, um, it's got, I mean, it's, your program's evolving. I mean, yes. you, it's really came a long way here um, in the past. Now you're going to your first uh, national competition mm -hmm. uh, this year, this weekend. And um, what, but you got a big difference. You got, you got the sideline cheer, you got the competitive cheer. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, give us some of the, the different the dynamics of the two. Okay, well, pretty much sideline cheer is just your basic cheers. You know, you have cheers that you go through whenever you're in middle school and high school, but pretty much whenever you're in college, the, the cheers, they're just more collegiate sounding and not so elementary sounding. And um, practices, they're not, they're not like competition. Competition's stressful. You know, it's, 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 it's exciting, but also the fact that one person can almost hurt the routine significantly and everybody has that stress on their back. So everyone has the chance to perform well or they can just mess up the routine. So everybody has stress on them right now. So, I mean, that's pretty much the two big differences. Whenever you're on sidelines, you don't have really that much stress because you love what you're doing right now because you're cheering for all the sports, I mean, such right. as football and basketball. You guys had then, a great football season this year. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I bet. A lot yeah. of fun, huh? Okay, yeah. big weekend this weekend. Uh, Nationals uh, in Orlando, Florida. Yeah. Um, how excited are you guys? We're pretty excited. We have a lot of nerves. Um, we have eight girls on the team right now, and uh, pretty sure all eight of them have competed before. Uh, seven guys are out there right now, and one of them has competed prior to this. Wow. We have an unexperienced team, but our practice is going to make us prevail, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of nerves because the guys have never competed, and I've never competed because I, I just started cheering. Right. Last year we didn't compete or anything. So I, I'm, I definitely have nerves for them, but excitement, excitement is there. Awesome. Well, yeah. Like I say, we're looking forward to seeing how you guys do, and well, thank you. you know, we're uh, we're sure you guys are gonna do great. Okay. Thank Thanks you. for the interview. Thank you.